Well, Tennessee's oldest town invites you to a special Memorial Day ceremony coming up on Monday. It will happen right in front of the Washington County Courthouse here with more now. T. McLeod, one of the organizers of the ceremony. And T, thank you so much for joining us today. Well, thank you for having me. Well, as we were talking about, <clears throat> Monday is really that time to, to gather your family and pay tribute to those who gave that sacrifice. That's exactly right. And we are more than happy to do so in downtown Jonesboro. Those flags uh, fly there around the courthouse for a, for a reason. And that is to, to be able to honor and respect the people that have paid the ultimate sacrifice um, through their branch of the military. And what a beautiful setting for a service. And you were telling me you, you shut down Main Street right there for the ceremony. Right, we're gonna shut down Main Street for about an hour and a half uh, this year. Uh, it'll close about 1145 and the ceremony will start promptly at 12 noon. Uh, we'll start the ceremony with the uh, Daniel Boone Marine Junior ROTC Color Guard. Major Cessus and his cadets will be there. Um, then we'll have taps played and then we will have citations read from um, service members who paid the ultimate sacrifice from World War I to the present. And then we'll have some musical performances by Jonesboro Repertory Theater. They always do a great job. And then the Appalachian Express Chorus will c come and uh, entertain us for, with a few numbers. And then we'll close the ceremony with a, um, an original uh, number written by Scott Wilde, and it will be performed by he and the Jonesboro Novelty Band. Um, so that will close the ceremony up. We'll open Main Street back up, but we want everybody to stay in town because we're going to have a hot dog lunch that will be available for Gold Star families and um, veterans and members of current military. Um, and then uh, Scott Wilde and the Jonesboro Novelty Band will continue to play and entertain. Uh, and then we invite everyone to meander up and down um, uh, Main Street, Jonesboro. I've talked to uh, all the merchants there and the ones that are going to be open will have uh, specials and refreshments and um, just a, a wonderful day in downtown Jonesboro to honor and respect. It sounds like a lot of people in the community want to be part of this very yes. special day. Yes, yes. I think everyone in Jonesboro just really appreciates uh, what has been done for Jonesboro and this country by the service members who have served and paid that mm -hmm. ultimate sacrifice. And of course, we are <clears throat> looking at video from years past, mm -hmm. and you can see a lot of families coming out. It looks very moving, yes. very powerful, very emotional. Yes, it is. Yes, and what we do we do that, uh, uh, and we think it's just a great way to honor and respect and mourn those um, who have made that ultimate sacrifice. And I love the small town feel in Jonesboro. It really is the community coming together to support those around them. Yes, that's exactly right. Uh, downtown Jonesboro is just a great place to be. And we have a lot of people relocating to Jonesboro mm -hmm. because of this fact, because it's a great place for veterans to come and, and live. Uh, and we have the great uh, uh, facility here in Johnson City uh, the VA hospital, and mm -hmm. so it's just a wonderful place uh, to be in downtown Jonesboro. We are definitely blessed, aren't we? We are, every day. Live in an amazing yes. area. All right, we're going to give everybody the information. <laughs> this ceremony, as he mentioned, beginning at noon right there in front of the courthouse in downtown Jonesboro. And, of course, you can find a list of all of the Memorial Day ceremonies and events happening all across our region on our website, wjhl.com.